Fire-type Pokémon are a favorite among fans. They're fast, offensive threats that can melt holes through anything. Pokémon that breathe fire, are made of fire, and set things on fire. It's all awesome, and the Paldea region is no exception, introducing a host of new Fire-type Pokémon. And while every generation brings exciting new Pokémon, some end up cooler than others. I'm Kyle with Pokebinge, and this is every Generation 9 Fire-type Pokémon lamest to coolest. Now, this list includes Pokémon first introduced in the Paldea region, and new forms granted to older Pokémon, so not every Fire-type that you can catch in Paldea, just the new ones. Lastly, coolness is determined from a variety of factors, including design, lore, statistics, and moves, and we'll be grouping Pokémon by their evolutionary line. Today, we'll be starting with the lamest and working our way up to the coolest. To start off our list, we have a Pokémon that is not particularly lame, as each Fire-type this generation is actually pretty cool in its own right. But something had to start out the list, and that is the Scovillain line. Evolving from Capsicid, this is actually the first grass fire type to exist, which certainly makes it noteworthy. And this pair of bad peppers are constantly looking to bring the heat. As far as designs go, this is actually pretty clever. There have been several explanations for a Pokemon's power over elemental fire. This Pokemon is so spicy it can expel bursts of flames, which is pretty creative. It's signature move, Spicy Extract, sharply raises attack and sharply decreases defense of a target Pokemon. This can be used on foes or allies, which can make for some interesting plays competitively, but also a little hard to use in the main game. Its abilities in Chlorophyll and Moody are good, but also not phenomenal. What separates it from being really cool is stat spread. It has decent attacking stats, but subpar stats everywhere else. Scovillain is all heat and no fire in battle as it can't take a hit or outspeed much without a chlorophyll boost. Great design, but when factoring in everything else, unfortunately we're calling it the lamest fire type of this generation. Next up we have Peldean Tauros. Tauros has fallen far as a powerhouse in generation 1. In recent memory, Tauros has been held back by its good, but not amazing stats and pure normal typing. In Paldea, we learn of a new breed of Tauros that are no longer normal but fighting type. In general, this is an upgrade to pure normal. The breeds of Tauros have further specifics. In this case, its Blaze breed is Fighting Fire type. These forms take a buff to their physical attack, making them a solid physical attacker. Paldean Tauros' signature move is Raging Bull. It is 90 base power and changes type depending on which breed of Tauros it is. In this case, Fire. This move can also end your opponent's defensive screen moves, so a clever redesign and a powerful offensive threat. Another example of a cool Fire type Paldean Pokemon is Chiyu, a new member of the new legendary Runeus Pokemon. This design feels distinctly unique from what we generally expect. The Pokedex discusses that this goldfish Pokemon burns so hot it melts rock around it, creating a stream of lava that it casually swims in. This Pokemon takes a page out of Chinese mythology, discussing the Tauti. The Tauti are one of four evil mythical creatures of the world. The dark fire Pokemon, Chiyu, depicts the concept of this ancient ancient evil in several ways. The Pokedex goes on to describe how the beads that make up Chiyu's eyes were once precious beads that sparked envy and conflict around it, so much so that the envy and conflict manifested itself into the legendary Pokemon Chiyu. Its ability in Beads of Ruin reflects the evil curse surrounding the beads by reducing the special defense of all other Pokemon while it's on the field. That's ally Pokemon as well. Beads of Ruin is not only excellent in story design, it also works works in tandem with Chiyu's fantastic special attack of 135. This makes for a powerful offensive sweeper with a solid offensive typing. Its signature move is Ruination, which halves the health total of any enemy. It's not the most inspired move as it's effectively the same as Super Fang, only a dark type, but every other aspect of Chiyu makes for an awesome Chinese lava goldfish. Iron Moth is as cool as it sounds. This is implied to be a futuristic version of Volcarona, and Volcarona itself is pretty awesome to begin with. Inspired by the Kaiju Mothra, this powerful Pokemon can easily tear through teams in a dance of fire. Iron Moth is a mechanized reimagining of that concept. Fire Poison is a good offensive typing, and Iron Moth has good coverage options. While it lacks Volcarona's Quiver Dance, it has a few great boosting options. Iron Moth's ability, Quark Drive, boosts its highest stat with Electric Terrain up. 
This can boost its already great speed, or bring its fantastic special attacking stat of 140 into titanic proportions. Fiery Dance can also boost Iron Moth's great special attack even further. To be frank, there is not much depth to this design, but it is such a cool design to begin with. Its robotic movement and cry is reminiscent of cool science fiction concepts. Iron Moth is also a fire type that excels at what every fire type sets out to do, to burn through opponents, leaving ashes in its wake. The Skeledurge line is chock full of clever design choices. Evolving from the lovably dorky Fuecoco, the final form is a huge croc adorned with white skeletal features. Flames pour from the sides of Skeledurge's jaw, which is really cool, and its head topped by a bird-like flame. This design takes inspiration from different aspects of Mexican culture. The skeletal features are reminiscent of the Day of the Dead and the tradition of decorative sugar skulls. Skeledurge is also similar to a style of Mexican sculptures of fantasy creatures. Lastly, its singing motif and instrument-shaped skull takes reference from mariachi of Mexican culture. The flame bird could be inspired from the symbiotic relationship between real-life crocodile cleaning birds. Also, the classic phoenix in fantasy. Its signature move is Torch Song, an 80 base power special attacking move that increases special attack every time. Skeledurge's stat spread makes for a bulky ghost fire type which is fairly unique. Its signature move, however, allows for plenty of offensive pressure while taking hits. This croc is a solid offensive tank with a really cool influence for its design. Char Cadet evolves into Armor Rogue when exposed to auspicious armor. This armor, once worn by a distinguished warrior, was imbued with psychic and fire energy. Donning this armor thrusts Char Cadet into the life of a fire psychic warrior. Also, Armor Rogue can shoot fireballs from this armor. Knights in armor have been a staple of pop culture coolness since there were literal knights in armor. Armor Rogue brings a flashy and cool design to this trope. As you would expect from an armored Pokemon, it's decently bulky, but its best stat is its great 125 special attack. Its signature move, Armor Cannon, is also as cool as it sounds. It's a 120 base power special fire type move. The only downside is lowering of defense and special defense after, like close combat. The simple idea of launching powerful attacks from creature mounted cannons has been exciting fans from the beginning of Pokemon. Which brings us to the gold medal of coolness for this particular type. Cerulege takes the top spot for coolest fire type Pokemon of Paldea. People love villains, people love swords, and also cold brooding exteriors. This is not the main character, this is the too cool for everything villain character. The trope of the cold, calculating, razor sharp warrior is true of many of the coolest characters of all time. The fire ghost type Pokemon Cerulege perfectly embodies these sentiments. Not all Char Cadets get proud chivalrous armor. Sometimes the armor they receive is full of vengeful spite. By using the malicious armor, Char Cadets become Cerulege, the Fire Blades Pokemon. Fueled by resentment in the malicious armor, Cerulege does not hesitate to act swiftly and mercilessly in battle. Cerulege is slightly faster and less bulky than Armor Oak. The pair of blades it wields is shown with its 125 physical attack and signature move Bitter Blade. This is a 90 base power physical fire type move that heals half the damage it deals. This kind of damage heal is a first for fire type moves. 90 base power hits very hard for a move that heals half damage, which in turn allows it to heal more. Cerulege takes the number one spot for its unique signature move and excellent representation of cool tropes. But let us know in the comments section what your favorite fire type Pokemon from Generation 9 is. Make sure to hit that notification bell and binge our other Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.